The way we consume and share news today, it is largely rooted in social media outlets. The reason why it's crucial for us to look at what's being discussed online, especially if there's a frightening dating trend on the rise. <laughs> uh, good morning, Erica. Good morning. Just a bit of a preview of what's coming up this morning. Because when I saw this article initially, I did a double take yeah, and it here. took me a while to process what that was. We'll get yeah. to it in just a moment. <laughs> a little bit of teaser, but uh, first, in the realm of sports, it was a big, glorious, long waited moment for the LG Twins fans. They're scrambling for keepsake newspaper celebrating their historic championship win. Yeah. Uh, yesterday at work, uh, one of my colleagues was so excited that his team won. In a long, long Yeah, so he treated time. everyone at school to um, a, a beloved and rather nostalgic uh, snack. Oh. Sang sang ba. You're kidding. So, <laughs> You know what that is, right? <laughs> it's like it's like a chocolate, um, chocolatey it, ice cream. Popsicle. Popsicle. So there, yeah, there are yeah, two yeah. of them. They're joined together. Yeah, like twins. You know. Get it. Hence, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's sweet, though, I've got to say. And yeah. I've got to say, in the years that LG Twins failed to snag a championship yeah. win, Sang Sang Buzz price went up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, the fans, they've been eagerly collecting memorabilia, including yeah. newspapers, to uh, commemorate, to celebrate their team's first championship in 29 years. And uh, they've been on the hunt since Tuesday morning for editions <laughs> featuring LG Twins victory. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and a, celebrate, a celebratory ad from LG Group yeah. uh, published across various newspapers. Now, on Sunday, uh, as you all know by now, the team clinched the championship they'd long for. Um, anyways, the, their story was quickly captured by newspapers everywhere. Uh, many publications showcased photos mm -hmm. of the players savoring their victory. Now, notably... Uh, so Hoshimun gave LG's uh, win prominent coverage on its front page, oh. which is a distinction usually reserved for sports uh, newspapers, okay. right? Uh, in online forums, LG fans shared their experiences of finding these special edition newspapers. I mean, it doesn't happen on a regular basis, yeah. so I can see it. And again, it's 29 years in the making. Yeah. I mean, for the diehard fans, what a moment, right? Take right. it in, take it in. <laughs> Look for the newspapers and the magazines. Now, in a world dominated by digital yeah. news, uh, the tangible feel of a newspaper celebrating their team's success holds maybe a special allure. Yeah. It's such a nice keepsake. I mean, who buys newspapers these days? I mean, my, my parents still subscribe, you know, but uh, not many people actually read paper newspapers. Uh, frankly speaking, I, I just never discontinued mm. what my parents had and so I keep yeah. getting them. And I noticed nice. the first thing you do yeah. when you walk into the office in the morning is to just grab <laughs> a paper. <laughs> I like the feel. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Anyways, uh, fans have even been sharing some, you know, funny accounts of their efforts to secure copies uh, for those not typically buying newspapers. Mm -hmm. Locations like convenience stores mm -hmm. and subway kiosks uh, have become key spots to find these special editions, especially in media-rich areas like Huang uh -huh. Now, these newspapers are quickly turning into collector's items. Oh, they're going to reappear for yep. a, a, a much more expensive <laughs> price, isn't it? That's right, which means that as time went by, they became increasingly harder to find. Mm. Now, prices in online markets reflected their newfound value. Uh, there was a post, for example, on the second-hand trading platform Tangan Market mm. on Tuesday uh, that offered to sell four sports newspapers for 200,000 won, roughly $153. And uh, due to soaring demand, one local newspaper even went as far as printing a few additional copies <laughs> of the sold out edition. Ever now, heard of such a thing? No, never. Now, for LG fans, these papers are not just news, mm. but they're cherished mementos <laughs> of a historic moment, and it's a tangible piece of history to remember. Uh, their team's long, long awaited victory, almost three decades. You know what? Taking the glory. It, it hasn't happened in three yeah. uh, three decades. Yeah. So we understand, <laughs> but that price is outrageous. Yep, 200,000 won for it a is. copy of the newspaper. And now it's not the only memorabilia we have fans are scrambling at their hands on. No. Uh, on another secondhand trading site, Chungo Nara, uh, there were over 150 posts that offered to sell LG Twins related merchandise. Uh, the items included a glossy jump 
jumper, mm. a jacket, which is a symbol of autumn baseball or mm. KBO postseason mm-hmm. for LG Twins fans. Mm. Uniforms, and there were also signed balls as well. Of I mean, course. to be fair, those are always expensive. Yep. It hasn't always been expensive. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> is this why people become hoarders? You hold on to everything until yeah, prices basically, go up. Basically, I can't, Yerika. I throw away things every day. Every day. Do you think, like, I don't know, a hundred years from now, some mm-hmm. of these items might be auctioned off? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. That's the hope anyway for the fans holding yeah. on to it. Uh, on to that second story mm-hmm. today. Now, this... Listeners, I try to understand what's happening in Korea's dating scene. It's this new dating trend where you airdrop photos at bars in strangers' phones. Yeah. My dating days are over. It's for me. It's been long over, yeah. and it has nothing to do with my marriage. It just it, I can't keep yeah, up. I know, and uh, this sort of really made me go seriously. So, uh, social media videos have sort of been discussing uh, this new way to date or find a date, uh, which basically involves people sharing their photos to everybody in. A bar. Now, those interested in the person in the photos can then go up to the person directly. <laughs> and the photos often contain details such as their Instagram handle. Okay. Now, one TikTok user named Steph Ahn posted, quote, I just found out the number one way people in Korea are meeting their potential partners. And it's absolutely insane. And that kind of set the tone for this yep. article, right? That it, it's, it's, it kind of floors you, doesn't yeah. it, that this is happening. But uh, let's get the fact right, uh, straight. So you, you, sure. you go into a bar, you turn on your airdrop, mm. which I struggle to do anyway, <laughs> send your photo to every single person in the bar that has their airdrop on, yeah, and that's... they accept, and they have... Yeah, so you, you, you send your photos out, uh, whoever has their airdrop on will get your photo okay. and then you enjoy your drink I guess have fun with your friends okay. and then you basically wait for whoever liked your photo to come find you ah, trying to understand is it kind of like handing out a virtual business card but more pictures and less yeah, resume I guess all right. so as you'll probably know airdrop allows Apple users yeah. to wirelessly send photos and videos to nearby devices mm. which have also been enabled to receive such files now, somebody else wrote on social media, quote, if you're looking for a Korean boyfriend, everyone needs to go to Korea and start doing this because this is honestly genius. So, OK, so I guess there's both sides of the argument. Yeah. Some people are definitely up for it. Yeah. Why, Looks like it. You, one might ask why not. And then one might ask why. Just go say hello. I know, right? Just walk <laughs> up to the person. Wait, I don't understand. Does the picture make, make the anticipation higher? I don't know. OK, so both of us are kind of old souls and we're not really helping this trend, <laughs> which is why it's young people who are doing it. So you get to choose who you like the most from the list of people who have sent you yeah. airdrops. So I, I'm seeing this sort of like it's Tinder, okay. sort of. Because you have choices. Oh, you, you also yeah, get to swipe. Yeah, you choose the person you like out of several options. Mm. And uh, they're right there in the same space as you. I don't so know. it's Tinder live, I guess. Because sometimes pictures are very deceiving, yeah. too. So this could go both ways. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A friend of mine showed me... Uh, photos uh, of guys on Tinder. Oh my gosh, they're so buff, and it's just they're, they're, they're it's it's weird for me. I'm not into. Yeah, no judgment though. No judgment. No judgment. I, I wish we had like an opposing view because I feel like Eric and I are in the same frequency. <laughs> yeah. We're not really selling this, yeah. but listeners, if you go feel like it. you'd go for it, yep. no judgment. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move on to our final buzzword yep. of the day. I guess it's kind of like when you go to museums and they don't really give you a price for the ticket. Uh-huh. They ask for, quote unquote, yeah. donations. Exactly. Give as much as you want to. Uh, now, in response to inflation, a bakery in France is allowing its customers to choose the price of their baguettes. Yeah, so, you know, everything is expensive. Yes. You know, it's not just in Korea, it's in France as well. And uh, the price of everything has gone up. Mm-hmm. And so this baker from Amiens, uh, a city in uh, France, his name is Maxime, is faced with everything bad that comes with inflation. And recently he decided to take a rather unconventional approach to help sort of solve this problem for everybody, Mm. um, which is he lets his customers decide on the price of the baguette they purchase. Now, his wife is also a baker. This was apparently her idea, according Mm. to news reports. And as you all know, Mm. 
A baguette is more than just a stick of bread in yeah. France. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a product that is dear and near to the French. And, you know, like Koreans eat rice every single day, mm. uh, the French eat their baguette. Yes, yeah. it comes fresh and it's how to start your days. It goes with breakfast, lunch and dinner if you yeah. want. It's a daily staple. Yep. However, inflation is making the price of baguettes increasingly unaffordable for mm. many people. Mm. Now, the couple's goal is basically to help those who are most in need. Okay. So um, the, the baker offers his customers the choice to choose the price they pay for their baguette purchases. Mm. And he sets a minimum of 60 cents mm. for each unit. They're not entirely free. Mm. Um, and uh, the offer applies exclusively to the traditional baguette. Mm. And, uh, you know, this is applied to all five Mamat mm -hmm. bakeries in the city of uh, Amiens. This is a, you know, a bakery franchise. It might just be like the best trust test for your yeah. neighborhood. I mean, if you want to keep your favorite artisan bakeries afloat, yes. you'd want to donate more, That's especially right. if you can afford yep. it, right? So how, f I'm hoping it's going well. How is it going so far? So around 20 to 25 percent of his customers have been paying the base price of 60 cents. Mm. I mean, it's good for them because they can you know, eat yes. uh, for much yes. cheaper. Yeah. Uh, around 10 to 15 percent have been paying 80 to 90 cents, which is uh, still lower than the the regular price that he sells his baguette for, which is one euro. OK. But uh, since he launched this campaign, many people have gladly offered to pay more. Mm. Uh, he's even had customers that have paid up to 2.5 euros mm. per baguette. That's more than twice the original price. Yes. And four times the minimum price of mm. 60 cents set by the owner for this month. Now, he also offers his customers the option to purchase what he calls a suspended baguette. What's that? Uh, so if you if if whoever wants to can yeah. buy a baguette without taking it home so that the baker can offer it for free to the next customer Ooh. who doesn't have the money to pay for suspended it. Suspended baguette. Yeah. That's Isn't that hilarious. cute? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, he also has other, you know, he he offers like I don't know he, he has this like buy three get one free mm. uh, policy that are applied to breads cakes and pastries mm. and this is helping a lot of people as well. All right, yeah. and, uh, I'm hoping that this at least helps the baker uh, break even because it sounds like a beautiful cycle. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you the best trust us for the neighborhood. Yes. Thanks, Erica. Pleasure. See you tomorrow. If you're listening to our program using the podcast service, just a reminder that we do go live Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Korea Standard Time. So tune in and help us make the show more informative by giving us your input. See you bright and early on Good Morning Seoul.